Hello guys, welcome back to a Pentastress blog. Today we are going to discuss about shell script. So what is shell script? So it's a QIL tool to obfuscate shell code. In further, we will able to change the encoding, encryption and compare compression methods. So it is a single file cross-platform cross quality of the life tool to obfuscate a given shell code file. And the output is useful format for passing directly into a source code. So, what are the features we get it in this? So, it's give like a more output formats like Rust and etc. things, more encryption methods, compression methods, create a config system that allows for chaining and encryption, encoding and compression methods. Flag to add and decrypt a method to able to generate a one code. Shikta encoder my first. So, now we would like to look how this will be work. Just open the terminal. Type git clone and paste the repository no it's not coming so you just type shell script Type shell script, type list, install the requirements. So it was done. So you just type Python 3 shell script dot Python. So here we got it. So you just type minus l so now we would like to get like show this messenger for things so i would like to use like a minus i input the file like i have in one folder location Here. See. So that this is the uh, encryption of the folder, like input of the folder. So you just copy this signature and you can paste it. So this is an upscale method so that you can get it in the payload. So uh, you try to like uh, put it in one targeted website so that's the image will be displayed over there so I just use my image here okay so I would like to use or uh, to encrypt this one in the into a like a AES AES en encryption AES 128 encryptions like uh, cha cha 20 encryption RC4 salsa 20 zor encryptions or many things Shell script currently supports only this type of file like AES, Chacha20, RC4, Slasha and Zor. So now I would like to encrypt the same thing. So that's my image. I would like to go with the uh, minus E called encryption. Uh, I, I will go with the AES encryption. I go with minus F and C. So this is the uh, encryption of the photo. You can see here this is the encryption. Now, so I would like to use like a for this as a password. Okay, for this encryption as a password. So I would like to use. same thing minus c 
So I just give a keyword as Alex. So the format it's giving telling like 4141. So I just keep like 1234. It's an easy password. So I just keep like target like my one eight two so it's giving the output with the key so this encrypted with a user specified key so now you would like to get like output of the name format like how you would like to get like an output so output you will get like minus here yeah. yeah. so this is the same thing so but you cannot able to read or write write these all things so if you see this data is multiple things these are data so this is the output of the data you can see here I have multiple things to encrypt here So here have also like uh, much things. So I just type minus help. So e even you can use the ciphers also. Show the list of the cipher. Minus here C. And I just type cipher. No, it's wrong. Cyphers. So yes, ch uh, cha cha twenty key. So now we would like to go with some other things. So we go with encryptions in the cipher like zor. So zor is better. So now you can see here but we got the output so these are the obscure files you need to import into the your victim machines and you can display that one permanently and get it the result okay so you try it your own guys thank you guys for watching have a great day